Okay, now in this exercise, we are trying to differentiate from, from first principles y is equal to 4x squared. And also to find the gradient at 2, 3, again from first principles. If the value of x uh, increases by a small amount delta x, then, then we have that delta y divided by delta x is 4 into x plus delta x all squared minus 4x squared divided by delta x. So we end up with 4x squared when we expand the brackets with 4x squared plus 8x delta x plus 4 delta x squared minus 4x squared all divided by delta x. So the delta x is sorry the 4x squares cancel out leaving up with 8x delta x plus 4 delta x squared. Now that gives us two terms. Now for the first term, if we divide it, if divided by delta x, it leaves us with uh, just 8x. And for the first term, uh, we divide 4 delta x squared by delta x, we leave us with uh, 4 delta x. Now the 4 delta x is so small that we can afford to ignore it. So our answer then becomes 8x as delta x tends to zero. Now, for the second part, um, we're looking at the value of y when x is 2. So x is 2 there. So the value of y then becomes 4 times 2 squared, and that gives us 16. Now, as before, we uh, delta y divided by delta x becomes 4 into 2 plus delta x squared minus 16 divided by x because we are now replacing x there with 2. So we end up with uh, 16 plus 16 delta x plus 4 delta x squared minus 16 divided by delta x. The 16s cancel out. So we are now left with 16 delta x plus 4 delta x squared divided by delta x. And again, two terms. And when we cancel out, we have uh, just 16 for the first term. Again, for the second term, we are left with just 4 delta x. Now again, 4 delta x is so small, we can afford to ignore it. So our answer then becomes 16 as delta x tends to zero. And I pose the question, uh, will it matter if the y coordinate changes? So, uh, and I've suggested try 2, 4, and 3, 3, and see what you get. I hope that's been useful, and uh, thank you for watching, and please subscribe. See you again sometime. Bye-bye now.